personas en todo país. She's a little baby. I don't know what happened, but she's crying. It was a bizarre and tragic accident. Cops say a bus driver distracted by his cell phone set off a chain reaction crash with devastating results. It only takes a second for something to happen. That's the second that changed my entire life. Bus driver Idowu Deramola plowed into a parked car and hit a street light. The heavy lamp pole fell directly onto a passing baby stroller, killing eight-month-old Angeli Paredes, riding inside. Our boss is killed a little girl. Dara Mola was driving a Jitney bus. They're the main form of public transportation for many New Jersey residents who commute to New York City each day. Though the fare is cheap, little more than a dollar, the ride could cost you your life. Cops say the biggest danger? Distracted drivers. We shouldn't be on the streets. Our New York affiliate, WPIX, went undercover and witnessed Jitney drivers speeding, passing illegally, and using their cell phones while driving. On one trip alone, they observed this driver on nine different calls. Uh, a lot of cell phone use, you know, texting and driving, it's, you know, they're operating a commercial bus and it puts you know, the lives of the passengers in danger. As a direct result of the initial report by WPIX, police in North Bergen, New Jersey, undertook their own undercover investigation. Cops in plain clothes boarded buses and identified themselves when they saw laws being broken. Officer from here, the police department. They cited two dozen violations in just eight hours, most for cell phone use while driving. Cell phone? Cell phone. Cell phone use. You can't have it in your hand while driving. Cell phones are part of the Jitney culture. Drivers share information with each other on where to find their next fares. No people means CPC. When pulled over, this driver explains in Spanish he was calling his boss. Reporter Christy Duffy tracked down the owner of the company whose driver killed little Angeli. They've been hit with almost 200 federal violations in two years allegedly for poor vehicle maintenance or problems with drivers. He was not answering questions at first. No, just would you please let me stay outside. But when WPIX showed him the video of one of his drivers repeatedly using his cell phone, the owner agreed to talk. I apologize for what's happened, but I wish to kill him. Then he brought out the company's safety policy, which forbids drivers from speeding, driving without a proper license, or using cell phones, among other infractions. Most, however, allow for a second or third chance to get back in the driver's seat. So what will happen to this driver? This driver, I'm going to pull him over here, I show him the picture, and I'm going to suspend him. I hope that these bus operators are getting the message. It truly is a sad thing that after the laws have been enacted, um, that after we've done enforcement, there are still bus operators out there um, that are violating the law. That law is Angelie's law, named after the little girl killed in her stroller. It requires all Jitney drivers to obtain commercial licenses. It raises insurance requirements. A blood sample must be taken from the driver if he or she causes a serious accident that injures or kills. And owners must also post signs informing passengers where they can file a complaint. Angelie's mother vowed that her daughter's death would not be in vain. I don't want anyone to forget. Hopefully nobody will forget the life of the innocent little girl lost who had Angel in her name. Well, WPIX reporter Christy Duffy joins me now. Christy, what's the latest on the driver's case here in the death of little Angeli? Adawa Darmola is being prosecuted. In fact, his trial is set to begin on February 2nd, and he's facing charges including death by auto. We should also add that we did try to reach out to Adawa Darmola for this story. Unfortunately, him and his attorney did not return our calls or messages. Reporter Christy Duffy from WPIX in New York. Thanks so much.